What's up folks? Welcome to a Cusco and Cut. If you've never been to a Cusco and Cut video before, we do two videos a week that are edited, one video a week completely unedited, uncut. And this is gonna be potentially the best uncut we've done yet because we're here at GX3, which is Grant Garten's place here in Sacramento. He's just worked on building this facility. You may have met Grant if you watched the channel a lot, then you've seen the Sacramento Reptile Show where he had a black dragon hatching out at the show. Super cool. Grant's an awesome dude. And he's also got my good buddy Riley here working at the shop with him, which is also fantastic. Just makes it that much better for me. You guys know Riley, of course. If you don't, then you probably don't watch the channel, but custom and cut, <laughs> welcome. So here's the plan, here's the plan. He's got all these beautiful enclosures back here that have been recently built and landscaped by this gentleman right here, Mr. Jim Hernandez. Hey. I'm gonna put a little clip of the video of him building the enclosure right here and then I'll put a link down in the description so you can go check out the entire video of him building out these enclosures. Did a really good job. But right here, we got a special spot because it's their Philippine sail dragons. Is that right? Yeah. Sail fins, sail dragon, sail fin. They look like dragons and they got fins. Philippine, and so I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna take my clothes off and I'm gonna go jump in that 100 gallon tank and swim with these Philippine sail fins and get back to some of my Filipino roots. And, but before we do that, I'm gonna pop in over here to the breeding room, which is another part of the facility. And look at this beautiful blue, it's part of Grant's, uh, it's part of their uh, color, color scheme theme and I'm wearing my living legless shirt. It kind of ties in with it real well. <laughs> and so I'm gonna pull out some of the snakes that I thought were really cool. Cause you guys know snakes are my favorite. And a couple of my favorites are, that I saw were, right, here's one, right here. And look, she's being super nice, she or he. Uh, Beatrix, look at that thing. Is that thing sweet or what? I love blood pythons, I love short tail pythons. This is, this is a freaking sweet snake. I, I, I don't know a whole lot about morphs of blood pythons, but I know that they do look fantastic. And one of the other ones that really stuck out to me was this little homie right over here, which is a pixel matrix. And this little boy, look at that. I mean, arguably blood pythons don't <laughs> need morphs to, uh, to look good, but you know, it doesn't hurt either. They, they do look really fantastic, I think. How's that coming out there, Riley? Looking good? Right on. Oh, beautiful snakey. Love, love, love. Here, take a taste of Riley's hand. No! <laughs> 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 All right, we'll let you chill out. Obviously, you wanna, you wanna have your own alone time, which I get, I get it. I, I also enjoy my alone time. Um, and then check these out. Look at this. So Grant may have been one of the first people to produce Desert Ghost Clowns. Is that accurate? One of the first, I would say, right? Yeah, I produced the first one for my first one for four or five years ago. Yeah, so uh, I, It was before it was even that big of a deal, though. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, if you guys know anything about Desert Ghost, you know the animals just get better and better. If you know anything about me, you know that I love clown. So if you put something with a clown that makes it get better and better as it ages, that's a win. And he's got some of his babies right down here. I thought it'd be fun to show some of what he produced. Those are some of his offspring. And they're looking absolutely fantastic. Just shed. Just freshly shed. Couldn't ask for better timing on that. It's like, uh, you know when you, you, know when you uh, try to do a video and you're like, oh, we wanna show up these snakes and there's always one in shed. These ones are freshly shed. We're, not, we're gonna try and avoid that curse today. And none of the snakes but we show. Know, look at gonna... the color difference. So oh, you yeah. can show like, how the males, or I mean the adults look so much Better. I mean, they get better with age. Look at that. Yeah, you know what? You, you got a point. This like this head. this this head looks like a fire clown or something. Look at that head there on the adult though. The thing just. And then look at that. Yeah. To, Desert Ghost is the best gene. Desert Ghost is is arguably the best gene out there. I mean, I I could, I would have a hard time debating that. I mean, clown is my favorite, but when it comes to making the snake age well with its beauty, I mean. It's hard to argue against Desert Ghost. I agree with that. Yeah, it really is. And there's lots of cool stuff. I'm gonna try, we're, we're not cutting this video, so I'm gonna try to blaze through, not too fast, but just fast enough. And look at this. Oh, baby. Now this right here is, I know I've said before, the indigos are my dream snakes, and now that I have them, I've kind of, I'm kind of living that dream, so my next dream is actually to have one of these someday, which of course is a Bolens Python, Somalia Boleni, or Boleni, however you want to say it. But these are arguably some of the coolest pythons on the planet. 
they just have this real cool demeanor about them like the this this calmness and confidence and th they just uh, at least of the the individuals that i've handled they seem to not have that fear like you can see how i'm touching the front of his face here and he just doesn't he doesn't back away he's not backing away like he's scared he seems just very confident and cool and what a cool looking snake too i mean the combo between their personality and their temperament and that crazy iridescence they can get is just unbelievable such cool snakes man uh, it, it feels weird to put them away but i know we got a lot of stuff to to check out still that i wanted to check out so and but uh, dave kaufman is filming here as well today and he's doing a pretty in-depth video not a cut an uncut video but like edited and he's featuring a lot of cool stuff he's got these really cool enclosures outside the facility as well these beautiful outdoor enclosures with tegus and tortoises and all kinds of stuff like that so i'll put a link down in the description for dave's video as well so you guys can check that out if anything i don't happen to feature on this uncut video today moving on we've got some awesomeness over here in the form of a blackhead python look at this oh, big beautiful blackhead that's that's another one man like if if i had to yeah, I'm, I'm not at the point, Andy. If, if he takes a little nibble, I'm good. I'm not kids don't nibble, man. I know, I know, I know. They chew. Yeah, well, chew, <laughs> chew, nibble, chew, nibble. So it's all the same to me. I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about a little nibble. I mean, I know it'd be a pretty good nibble, but I, I do actually find it somewhat enjoyable to be chewed on by a snake the, like that. You know, they remind me of those. Speaking of indigos, mm. I know they're totally not related, but that, just their demeanor, the way they act. My indigos nibble on me. They yeah. do a little, they do a little nip. I got the girl, she's like taking a little, like a little, huh, ah, just see what I taste like. Oh, what does that taste like? Okay. But I'm sure this guy would, or girl would chew on me a little heavier. But I had a Mexican black king snake chewing on me uh, last month or so for oh, about 15 minutes. It was, it was quite, it was enjoyable. It actually made my headache go away. I'm telling you, it's, it's a thing. It's snake, that, snake hit, acupuncture. Hit that like, pressure so point. Yeah, yeah. Hit, that, hit those right pressure points. It's good to go. Look at that beauty right there. Oh, I wasn't talking about him, but yeah, go ahead. Look at that beauty right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's get another snake out. What about El Diablo? That'd be bad. What's that? Bring it to El Diablo. Oh, no, no, I'm not pulling that one out. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not bad. We'll have Riley pull that one out. Just for fun. Yeah, we'll play with a hat. That'll be a ton Check of fun. Check this out. That's an adult golden eye right there. Goldeneye 007. Oh, Goldeneye 007. Pardon me. So you can see. Produced here. Yep. All, all these snakes I've seen. Well, where was, where was the Bullens from? Uh, I did not. I, I definitely not bred the Bullens. But that one actually came into his uh, same port. Gotcha. Yeah, so this is, this is produced here. Most of the snakes that we're showing you today yeah. were all produced here. Grant produced right here at GX3. Which, I don't know if I mentioned this, this is a, a brand new facility. And, uh, it's going to be open to the public pretty soon. So if you guys are here in Sacramento, you want to come check out a cool shop. We're going to go up front in a second and check out the retail area too. There you go. I don't know, Riley, do you want to play with a mean snake? No? Yeah, sure. No, you don't, I mean, you don't yeah, have to. Play with the mean snake. How much time we got left? I want to show the retail area first. Oh, let's go check out the retail area. Yeah, we'll play with the mean snake at the end if we have time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stick around. We may have time, and they're, so they're breeding. They got some cool frogs in here. We're gonna be breeding fish in this room, and then we'll blow back by Jim here without messing up his cement work too much. Hopefully, thank you, Jim. So this, check this out. This is what you see when you walk in. You may have seen this on my buddy Nick at Renowned Reptiles video. Um, I'll put a link for that video down in the description as well. Actually, he came here maybe a month or so ago or, or less and did a little showing of the thing and these murals look at those look at that this gorgeous the when riley sent me some pictures of this place i was like dang that's well done and what a great place to walk into right it's gorgeous right there yeah and of course there'll be a link for riley's channel down in the description too i mean come on guys we got all kinds of cool people out here doing lots of cool stuff we got some fish for folks to check out and what's really cool actually is part of the retail section over here where they got these acrylic enclosures and they're all kind of built out already. We've got things like, I mean, you got a centipede, you got a king snake, you got a dart frog, you got whip scorpions, you got tarantulas, 
And a lot of these are basically ready. If somebody came in and wanted to purchase one as a pet, they could basically take this enclosure with them and be, have it all set up, all naturalistic and all the little leaf litter and cork bark and all the different things that are in here, they also are gonna have these supplies available here at the shop as well. So it's like, it's just super cool, man. I'm, I'm super stoked to be here. When I saw the pictures, I was like, this is gonna be sweet. And then now actually being here in person, it's like, this is not just gonna be sweet, it is sweet. And uh, all right, Grant, I think it's time to get uh, naked-ish. <laughs> All right, like I told you guys, I'm gonna go jump in and swim with some of my old ancestors from back in the, uh, back in the islands. <laughs> Grant, are you gonna come get naked with me? I told Grant that he had to, I told him I wasn't gonna force him to, but, so I've been getting a little out of shape this year. Last year about this time I was doing pretty good, but I've, I've let myself go a little bit. So Grant actually has a CrossFit gym that's attached to this place that he owns as well. Look at this dude. If he doesn't take his shirt off, I'm going to put a screenshot right here at least. He's, this, dude, <laughs> this dude is in some serious shape. And so I'm like, one of my goals here in doing this is not just to have a great experience getting into a uh, water feature with some reptiles, but also to emasculate myself and shame myself into hopefully getting back into some kind of better shape than whatever's happening shame. here right now. Shame! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for it. Shame! <laughs> Brian, shame you even more. Oh. That's the only water bowl I haven't cleaned today. <laughs> this is the other water bowl that hasn't been cleaned today? Yep. How, how are these guys? Can I, can I pick one up? I mean, their poop is disgusting, but I mean, they're, yeah, they're cool. They're cool? Yeah, bud. Especially the girl. Which one? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, baby. I'm pretty sure 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 I'm Oh, there's one in there already. Yeah, they, they go down. <laughs> I felt one at my foot. <laughs> All right, I can respect that you don't want to be in here with me. I get it. Thank you for spending a little time at least. I'm not that bad. I don't smell. She's actually the best breeder. She always lays fertile eggs. Got somebody checking you out. <laughs> <laughs> Like, nope, I'm not staying here with you, buddy. Oh, check this out, though. The male down there. Hey there. <laughs> well, he's got like purple fins on top. Or purple. Yeah, so that's, that's one of the young males. She's unrelated to all these. So I'm actually raising up. She spends a lot of time down at the bottom swimming around. How freaking cool is that, man? Yeah, that blue eyes catch that. Right? Yeah, look at this. Man, it's it's beautiful. Well, I think th that was worth it. This feels good too, actually. This is nice. I've never actually been in the water with a reptile like that before. <laughs> it's your first nice. shower in a few days, huh? Oh, look at this. And it's you got a little snack too for later or for now. Mmm. Oh, no. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Fish. Protein. Get it back to my roots. I hope you caught that because that was kind of slightly disgusting. The eye is the worst part. Ah, I'm done with that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go sign out. Oh no, you didn't hear something. Nope. Okay, good. <laughs> well, I got to give a big thank you to Grant for. Allowing me to uh, get back into my roots. I thought you were Bill, done Bill filming, Kaufman. Really simple. Sorry. Oh. He told me he was done filming for that. I didn't start until he was done, and there he is still I thought filming. I you were done. I'm sorry. No, I'm not it's done. Totally my here. It's all right. You're good. We, we, won't, we won't interrupt you at all. Sorry. 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 Go ahead. Finish. <laughs> we were just going over the husbandry of a wild Brian Cusco. So what we've been doing is keeping him, uh, feed him anything. It's like a garbage disposal. As you can tell, he'll eat anything. Uh, not much activity though. You want a very sedentary lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that note, Riley, you gotta go hold the snake. Let's go. <laughs> sorry, 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 Brian, sorry, sorry, Brian, I'm sorry. Brian, sorry, I'm sorry. Brian, what, I, I'm so, what? All right, here comes Riley Big. If he does good, then I'll put the link in the description for the channel, but otherwise,
This is going to go poorly. Oh, this is not starting well. Looks like you did. You did you're a professional, bro. Just wait. She makes all professionals look bad. You're making it look great. Hey, don't get in my face, please. She's being exceptionally good right now. Sure, she is. I'm gonna give all the credit to her. Well, the snake obviously See, is there cool, you go. but but Riley is a professional. I mean, if you guys didn't know, he was zookeeper at the Santa Barbara Zoo, zookeeper at Sacramento Zoo, and I couldn't. I don't think Grant could have hired a better guy to come here and take care of his animals and uh, work back here in the shop and, and get things going. So I'm excited to see what the future is for these guys here at GX3. Obviously, it's gonna be phenomenal. Really cool people, really cool animals, really cool facility. It's got all the ingredients you need to have a, a nice, successful thing happen here in the reptile world. So. I'll put a link down in the description for everything that you guys will need in regards to this place, including the people who are here and how you can get a hold of the people here and check out the place yourself. So, you guys have yourselves a great day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Big thank you to Grant and family and Riley and everybody and Dave and everybody involved for making this all happen. So, you guys take care of yourselves. Like I said, take care of each other. Aloha.